Unsung. The story of full force. What's up, people? This is my home away from home. When I'm in a good mood, I have to train. When I'm in a bad mood, I got to train. I got to get it in. You got to train everything. The body, the mind, and the spirit. When you tie those three together, you can move mountains, you can change attitudes, and you can eradicate disease. But full force's inner strength is being put to the test. In 2006, Paul Anthony was diagnosed with mantle cell lymphoma, a potentially deadly cancer. You're staying healthy and you're doing all the things you can to help yourself. Good. I'm, not, I'm taking your best advice that you told me. Just, you know, got to go through to get through and I'm good. Fantastic. I did like, I think, six months of chemo. And it was crazy because I would do, I would do my chemotherapy, then I would go train. Because I know the day after, it's like, okay, I got to be still. Because then you got that thing going on in you. When Paul would go get his chemo and stuff, he would still be in his hospital room doing his dips between the beds and working out, you know, and still being positive and still being strong. He tolerated it exceedingly well. He's a person uh, who's incredibly upbeat and optimistic. He's in fantastic physical shape. And he did everything he could possibly do on his end to stay in the best um, physical condition and mindset to get through therapy. I'm still training, I'm still exercising, I'm still staying spiritual, I'm doing everything because you have to, and that's what I want people to understand, you must be proactive, you don't wait. He's just such a brave guy, and I call him my hero because he's not gonna let this beat him, and it's not gonna beat him. You need me to help you take this off, Mr. Paul Anthony? No. You sure? Okay. As of 2011, Paul's prognosis remains uncertain. But he doesn't shy from the challenge in hopes that going public with his fight can inspire others. I, too, myself am a survivor. 27 years. I kept it a secret. I was afraid. Because sometimes when you speak of these things, you know, they treat you differently and they don't want to take that chance with you. I remember one particular doctor, I won't say his name, but I remember he said to me, he said, you know, the life expectancy of what you have is two years past diagnosis. And I looked him in the eye and I said, okay, well, then let's go. You better get to cracking because I could write a whole lot of hit songs in two years. It scares me, but we all got to be strong for him. And seeing how he deals with it, it makes us strong also. Paul's a great songwriter, he's a great performer, a great singer. That's what makes him happy. That's his saving. So, you know, and us being a part of that, we're, we're right there with him. I always said, I want to live forever. That's my goal, and it still is. You know, whether I'm here or not 10 years from now, I know I'm going to live forever through my films, through my music, through my children, through this interview. So it's important that I leave my mark. <laughs>